Greetings people, Yard of Reviews. Right now we're going to be talking about Gotham, Season 1, Episode 3. Uh, the title for this episode is The Balloon Man. Right now, like, this episode is basically showing you, like, the first, like, vigilante that, that, ha that Gotham has, right? And it's the Balloon Man. So what this guy does now, he picks, like, corrupt officials, whether it be police, priests, um, like, build like you know um politicians whatever government, like government yeah. officials anything like he gets them hooks them onto a weather balloon and just have them <laughs> fly up to the sky they eventually die because they can't breathe they what? eventually freeze and you know and uh, it's crazy because yeah it's dope so this guy's <laughs> going around doing these things nobody really knows his identity and this whole time like this episode why it's why it's actually crucial like Bruce Wayne is watching all of this, you know, as a young kid, you know, watching this, reading the newspapers, watching what's going on. And you, you kind of see him, you know, trying to be a detective, trying to piece things together, trying to figure out stuff. And he's also at the same time, like saying that, okay, this guy's a vigilante, but he's doing it wrong because he's actually killing people. He's not supposed to kill. Once you kill, mm. you're like the criminals itself. And this also shows you um, Maroney, who is, who is another rival boss of Falcone, he's trying to get Arkham Asylum reopened again. So it's like a whole bunch of things is going down right going down right now mm. in Gotham. Like and you know the mythology is there. You get to see Penguin again. Penguin is like like trust me, he's like the main star right now. Like the, every episode, Penguin is killing somebody. Mm -hmm. Like this dude is straight up psycho. You get to just see him you know he's kind of crazy in the, in, in the first episode he, he, he kind of seems going penguin. downhill like yeah he's just going downhill literally. he's just going mad like literally he's just going crazy and like you're seeing him just doing these crazy things and he's back in gotham now and the big cliffhanger is just him appearing after he was you know supposedly killed by jim gordon boom he comes up in the last part saying you know hi jim whatever so i don't know how this is going to play out because a lot of people really want to see him see him dead a lot of people want to see him alive so you know it's getting kind of crazy and you kind of get to see the tension between falcone and fish mooney played by jada pinkett i mean it it, it, it yo trust me gotham is doing no wrong right now hmm. it's 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 pushing on all six cylinders this this television series is crazy like you get to see like you know the origins of all these characters catwoman also played a big part because she's the one who is basically the one who witnessed the real person murdering the Wayne family. So, do we ever find that out? Um, well, I think it's going to play out that way. I think you're going to actually get to see something is, happen. But in the comic books, does that happen? Um, or not? In the comic books, you get to find out who the person is. That the person I, I, I can't forget. I forget his name, <sighs> but you get to you get to you get to find out who the person is, and yeah. you realize that he's really like a nobody. Ah. And, like, and like Batman actually like you know found out who he is, but didn't kill him. Like that was the biggest test. Tesla like he had to go through yeah so yeah it just it, it's really cool like the little story behind that is really cool but I mean I don't know they're gonna take it straight strictly from the comic I think they're putting little elements in there mm. but it's trust me I mean what they're doing right now with Gotham it's like they're not focusing on like these super villains or they're not focusing on like the vigilantes but they're focusing on just like how corrupt the police force is and how building that world yeah and he want and like Jim Gordon is like he wants to change things like he wants to change things for the better hmm. so it's like he's he's going through this internal struggle because he knows that everybody's on the take hmm. who is not who, who is not on the take is like they're afraid they don't want to snitch they don't want anything it's like everybody's just under Falcone's thumb you know what I mean hmm. like he runs everything so you get to see what's really going on, and I mean it's good. I mean it, it's it's good. They're doing no wrong for me. Like I said, they're 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 Gotham is is really impressive. Can't wait for the next episode. They, 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 what they seem to do, they always seem to leave these episodes with a cliffhanger. So it's like you're always trying to anticipate what the next one is going to be, which I think is a good idea because I mean you can only tell so much in forty five minutes to an hour. You know what I mean? But what they're doing for that time is really good. So I'm looking forward to the next episode, guys. Guys, also do remember, um, subscribe to the show. Also, email us at yardy.reviews at gmail.com, as well as follow us on Twitter at yardyreviews. And, guys, I'm going to keep talking about it. Comic Con, look out for the footage, look out for the coverage. There's going to be some good stuff. And, yeah, me and Irv signing out. Big up yourself.